بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز اے سینئر ڈیو آفس انجینئر ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو دی کوئک وے ہاؤ یو کین ڈپلائی سیمبا ان یور پروڈکشن انوائرمنٹ ایز آئی ہیو آلریڈی ڈپلائی دس سیمبا ان آور پروڈکشن انوائرمنٹ یوزنگ بائی یوزنگ ڈاکٹر سو لیٹ می شو یو ہاؤ یو کین یوز مائی امیج اینڈ اٹ از اے پروڈکشن ریڈی امیج یو کین just pull my image and deploy it in your production environment I'm going to copy this command as I've already put all this stuff in the docker up.docker.com so you can see at my repo so what I'm going to do uh, if I do ls you don't see any uh, windows folder here um, by using this command you see I will mount the home and windows folder uh, inside my samba so it is going to create that so let's see whether the container is running or not the container is actually running now I'm going to show you guys how to get inside the container and we will see what is happening inside If I do ls, you will see my bash script as I've uh, already mentioned about the detail how to use this. It is not very difficult. It is uh, just a simple bash script uh, which will edit the configuration. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, how you can access uh, with your local machine. So this is the Samba script and the username and the password I'm going to use is this custom and this is the password what I'm going to do is, is to copy this password and <coughs> excuse me um, let me show you the permissions of this Windows directory see it didn't get any uh, full permissions and you will see the same permission on the Samba folder now if I change the permission of this uh, of outside my you know, container uh, folder windows and I'm going to change the permission of this uh, if I do I'll let you see the permission I change let's see whether the permission are changed on this see permissions are changed As far as permissions are concerned, you can watch any YouTube tutorial or any tutorial regarding how to change the permissions and uh, you can uh, add extra user as well uh, by using my you know, bash script as I have already shown you. This is the bash script. You can also edit uh, this bash script. You can change the username and uh, you can also uh, change the password as well. You can add additional user and do all that stuff for editing if you want to change the parameters you also have to do the other step second step is to go to the samba and uh, you have to edit the smb.com file but let's see whether we are able to access this or not from our local machine you see I'm able to access my local uh, container and I'm going to give the password sorry the username is last time and um, the password I've already copied it so you see I'm able to access it I'm able to create any folder inside it I suppose test okay let's see whether we see this in uh, our local machine this is our Uh, you see local machine and ls on windows list the windows directory you see this is already there so uh, this is as far as the you know using my image so what if uh, you want to change the parameters for instance uh, I'm going to uh, give my user uh, or I want to add additional user for instance 
um, I want to edit this user to, for instance, I'm going to change it asim with, uh, sorry, asim with asim, and I'm going to change the password ABC. See, I've changed it, and uh, for additional user, you can add additional user by using uh, this variable. So you don't have to do anything else in the script and simply but you know if you add additional user we have to do for instance if you add user one you have to uh, copy this command and user add user one and all this you know parameters regarding you see you have to also use this command as um, if you add user one you have to use the double user one sign and as far as the parameters are concerned you can use for instance, um, you can, uh, if you want to change the commands here, you can uh, give the different commands which I've uh, already gave for this script is doing is actually pending to this file. You see, uh, samba etc samba samba smb.com. So it is pending all that stuff in, in that uh, particular file. So I've changed the username and so let me save it. So I've saved it. So I'm going to go to the APC Samba. The purpose of this video is to just make sure that your concepts regarding the deployment of Samba in Docker should be very clear. What I'm going to do uh, is to remove this because it is going to end my. If you run my script, it will uh, going. It will uh, append this file so I will remove it simply and and told X to save it and what I'm going to do is go back to the root of the file system do a less and run my script if you want to change <laughs> any command or do something else you can do that as well so let us enter the script is running the permissions are changed we are going to access with the new user new user so um, in local environment, uh, I have to reboot my host machine because of uh, the Windows setting is it is actually cached. So I use this part as a Samba and Docker part one. I have to reboot my machine to see the change. You see, um, I have restarted uh, the SMB and NMD uh, daemon in the my docker container also uh, we are going to uh, access our share with the um, new user and password so for that please uh, watch my sam and docker part 2 please subscribe and like my video thank you very much have a nice day see you in next video sam and docker part 2